Welcome everybody, my name is Tim Sandy and I'm a VMware Technical Partner Manager and Systems Engineer. In this session, I'm going to provide a Technical Sales 201 overview of the newly released Be Realized Network Insight 3.3, which was released on March 2nd of 2017. So let's get started. This slide shows the highlights of all the enhancements that were made in Be Realized Network Insight 3.3. I'm not going to go through every single bullet in here. This is just kind of a precursor slide again. A, and this is just summarize all the enhancements. And we're going to be going through more of the details in the subsequent slides as well as we go through the presentation. We can summarize the enhancements to NSX events and support enhancements, enhanced event management, general user interface changes, network address translation or NAT improvements, NSX firewall enhancements, and Palo Alto support. The one feature I want to mention that I especially like is we're now providing the ability to upgrade from 3.2 of vRealize Network Insight and to do an online update from within your vRealize Network Insight appliance user interface, as you see in the picture here. So in the top middle of the picture, you see that it automatically tells you that the logged in user that there's an update from 3.2 to 3.3. So it lets you know as soon as there's an update available, which is nice. This saves administrators time checking to see when updates are available, as well as letting updates happen in an automated fashion rather than the normal manual method of updating. In regards to upgrades, there are a few important facts you should know about upgrading from previous versions of vRealize Network Insight. First off, a direct upgrade from version 3.0 to 3.2 is not supported. A 3.0 install must upgrade to 3.1 before upgrading to 3.2. And then the upgrade options that you have consist of a direct online upgrade option from the user interface, which I just mentioned, an offline upgrade using an offline bundle, which is more of a manual method. And then finally, you can also, using VMware support, using an online upgrade as well, but working with support. So those are your options as far as upgrading some important facts to know. Event management is now easier than ever. As you see in the left-hand side where the navigation pane is, you have the option to select either all open or closed problems, making it easier to find. You also have new filter options. There's uh, color-coded events by severity with solution recommendations. And there's also a user-defined event based on search criteria that you have selected as well. So again, making it easier for the administrators and making it quicker to find what they're looking for. With the user-defined events, you can mark the event as a problem, then choose the severity level of it that is appropriate to that severity, which is new. You can set the trigger condition and then provide your own unique name for it. So again, not only are we making it easier to find the problems, but we're also making it easier to go back at a later time and to define them using your own name and assigning an appropriate severity level that is appropriate to your needs. And if you realize Network Insight 3.3, we've given you the ability to define your IP spaces to make it easier to manage your environment. You can assign them to either east to west or north to south IP address spaces. This makes it easier to track your valid IP spaces, especially when you have compliance related requirements in your environment. We've added some additional sub group by elements under the plan security area. The group by selection has now been moved to the left hand side of the pane. This allows you to view more detailed groups such as physical, other virtual, internet, and none. So again, giving you more options, making it easier to find that particular set of information that you're looking for. In regards to Active Directory authentication, we provided the ability to now point to multiple Active Directory domain controllers for redundancy purposes. Be Realized Network Insight will then use Round Robin to authenticate between the different domain controllers that you have entered into the interface. We also have added the ability to authenticate AD groups as well as any nested groups under the main group. So again, that gives you the ability to do queries for Active Directory groups, and then if they have subgroups within them, it'll also query those as well. Now, just to let you know, this query of the AD groups is only done at configuration time, not every time that a user authenticates. So that way it's not causing a lot of extra authentication traffic across your network and against your domain controllers. Be Realized Network Insight 3.3 now supports NSX version 6.3. 
Although VRNI 3.3 does support NSX 6.3, it does not, however, support any new features introduced in NSX 6.3, such as uh, network address translation rules leveraging the NSX 6.3 NAT rule enhancement. So just keep that in mind. VRNI 3.3 now supports 11 additional NSX events to notify users of best practice configurations, such as NSX Manager Backup, not configured, and several other misconfigurations that are best practice. VRNI 3.3 now supports 11 additional NSX events to notify users of missing best practice configurations such as NSX Manager Backup not configured and several other misconfigurations that are best practice. Also, most of the events you can now take action on as well as, and you can provide suggestions on how to remediate those issues. So not only can you take actions on them, but it'll also make recommendations for you as well as how to fix them, which is very useful. This slide lists all the new NSX events that are now supported. I'm not going to read through all of these. You can read them yourself, but I wanted to provide you the list in case you're interested in them. Take the time to go ahead and look through this on your own while you're watching this video. You now have the ability to query NSX firewall rule attributes such as the direction. This makes managing and troubleshooting easier than ever. So you, as you can see here, you can manage and find and do a query against those attributes for all incoming traffic, for example, as you see in here, is those firewall rules that are incoming into your network. So again, this gives you just more detailed ways to do querying. So as you see, a lot of the improvements are giving us, or more so the administrator, tools in order to do more specific query actions against to really help them find the issues and troubleshoot them quicker and resolve them quicker, of course. Here's an example where we're doing a query using the apply to attribute. The query is looking using the apply to query to easily find a problem. Again, I'm not going to go through the details of this query, but I just wanted to show you. You can also do queries based on the negation attribute. So this means looking for anything that does not meet the attribute that I'm querying on. So the opposite of what I'm querying on. This example shows doing a query using raw IPs and TCP UDP port numbers. So again, there's a lot of different ways you can do queries. Visual enhancements were made to make the VM to VM path easier in regards to using network address translation or NAT. The tooltip now shows the originating source IP as well as the translated IP address to show NAT is being used. The visual display also reflects different NAT segments using different colored lines so you know that they are different. We've added support for exporting firewall rules not just for security groups but also for applications and tiers now. We've had additional enhancements that are related to integrating with Palo Alto Networks. Without getting into details again and reading the whole slide, this list here is the supported entities for Palo Alto Networks. This slide here shows you the non-supported entities for Palo Alto Networks. There are now events related to Palo Alto Networks integrations with NSX to ensure your environment is configured properly at all times. So whenever you're using the integration between NSX and Palo Alto Networks and anything regarding the Palo Alto Networks is not configured correctly, there's now going to be events that will let you know that. So again, making the administrator's job easier. So that completes my presentation for today on what's new with vRealize Network Insight 3.3. I hope that you found this information useful and have a little better idea of what's new. As you see here, I have my social media links as well to provide additionally useful VMware resources to you. I want to thank you for joining me today and have a wonderful day.